Maria is well aware of what the Russian army has done in Mariupol. She and her relatives and neighbours were hiding from the shelling at the Mariupol Drama Theatre when the Russians dropped a bomb on their heads. On that day, March the 16th, at least 300 people died. Maria survived only because she ran out for a few minutes to visit a relative. Chechen troops and the Russian army have personally taken away my future. They deprived me of everything my family had. They took away a lot of my friends and family. Maria Kutankova, a 30-year-old Mariupol resident, recalls the morning that the enemy captured the city. The woman did not even imagine that in a few weeks the invaders would turn the city into ruins and the streets into a cemetery. On February 24th, I woke up at 4 a.m. from the explosions. Mariupol has been under occupation before, for two months in 2014. Then, the city was released by Azov fighters in one day. She lived in her apartment for several weeks until the house was fired upon by a multiple launch rocket system. But on March the 10th, we woke up, and in the, we woke up in the morning from very strong explosions. Our windows were blown out and furniture was thrown around. There was a direct hit at our building's entrance. Three of Maria's neighbours were killed that day. She and her mother and sister moved to another family, one floor below. But one week later, there was nothing left of the house. The only haven in the city was the drama theatre. About a thousand citizens were already hiding there, waiting to be evacuated. When we were walking towards the theatre, we came across Russian tanks with the letter Z, and these tanks started firing at us. I ran away from the Russian tanks to the theatre. I ran there like crazy in shock. Maria and her family found a free corner on the third floor of the theatre and ran for a few minutes to visit a relative. On the street, she saw a plane drop a bomb on the theatre. I saw that the theatre no longer had a roof. The walls had partially collapsed and there was a fire on the third floor. The place where food was cooking near the theatre was completely in ruins. There were several braziers and several dozen people. All these people had died. The wall had fallen on them. Maria rushed to look for relatives. She reached the third floor by an undamaged staircase and took her sister out. Her mother was found on the other side of the theatre. My mum was at the back door on the street. She was partially covered in rubble, but people helped her very quickly. Maria recalls that those who survived tried to pull out the wounded. However, they came under fire. In the morning, Maria and her mother and sister fled to a nearby occupied village. They walked 20 kilometres. With the help of friends, we found a place where we could spend the night. We just sat in fear for four days. We were very afraid that we would be sent by bus to the Donetsk People's Republic. They were taken by an evacuation bus to Zaposkreska. Now they are in Vilnius. Maria really hopes that some of her friends will be able to escape via the future humanitarian corridor from Mariupol. Sofia Bruska, Yaroslav Sieko, Vikna Program, STB, United News.